After launching our thrombosis range, antithrombin, protein C, protein S and DVVT, we are pleased to introduce in the context of hemorrhagic syndrome the new coagulation factors assays on our full automated G analyzers. Hemorrhagic syndrome is due to a dysfunction either of the first stage of hemostasis called a primary hemostasis and in this case the platelets do not aggregate correctly or during the second stage of hemostasis called coagulation indeed a deficiency of one of the factor coagulations can lead to a problem of consolidation of the clot initiated during the primary hemostasis which eventually triggers the hemorrhage. Coagulation is a cascade of successive activations of factors consisting of two different pathways that come together to form fibrin. The risk of bleeding is initially explored by screening tests of PT for the common and extrinsic pathways and APTT for the intrinsic pathway. There are two types of factor deficiencies, innate and acquired. The best known innate factor deficiencies are hemophilia A for factor 8 deficiency and hemophilia B for factor 9 deficiency. Acquired factor deficiencies occur during a drug treatment, liver failure, disseminated intravascular coagulation, etc. In these cases, it may be necessary to measure some of these factors for better monitoring. Part of this topic will be discussed during our presentation theatre at the IASTH 2023 Congress in Montreal in June. The guest speaker, Dr. Emmanuel Jean-Pierre from the University Hospital of Lille in France, will present the sensitivity of Horiba PT reagents to the extrinsic pathway factor deficiencies. As you can see, our panel of hemostasis tests continue to grow. So see you in our next video for more news.